Today I'm going to be making some really yummy biscuits and here are the ingredients that we need. 500 grams of all-purpose flour, 300 milliliters of milk, 120 grams of salted butter, 50 grams of granulated sugar, 20 milliliters of baking powder, and one egg. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, I have my all-purpose flour here, and I have my baking powder here. Now, if you are using self-raising flour, use the same amount of flour and simply omit the actual baking powder. You won't need it in this recipe, but I'm using all-purpose flour, so I'm adding in the baking powder. I'll just mix that in. And then our sugar, and that's granulated sugar. If you don't have granulated, you're going to use castor sugar. Just mix that up really well. And that's perfect like that. Into our flour mixture, I'm going to add in all of our beautiful butter. And this butter is not at room temperature, it's slightly on the cold side. And now I'm going to do this completely by hand. So instead of using a pastry cutter or a food processor, I'm going to do this all by hand today just to show you a different way of doing this. You want to coat all of those pieces of butter with your flour and then I'm going to start breaking them down. So you just get in there and have fun. So I'm grabbing a piece of butter and I'm just pushing it with my fingers like this. So you grab and just take your thumb and push. And while you're doing that in the flour, as you're doing that, the flour is becoming inter integrated with the fat. So you push and you can do this with both hands at the same time and just get in there and you can just go like this and keep breaking this down until you have tiny little pieces. This is actually very relaxing. You can have your kids help you out. This is very, very fun. And this is how biscuits were made long time, a long time before machines were invented. So get right in there. So just have fun with it and keep going at this until you have all of those pieces of butter have broken right down. Once you have broken down all of your mixture and it looks like this, then we are ready to add our milk. So I'm just going to grab all of my milk right in, one shot. I'll grab a fork and I'm just going to start very gently mixing this all together. You can use your fingers as well, but this just saves a little bit of mess on your fingers at the beginning. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay, once it starts coming together like that, we are ready to put it onto our work surface. Just get it all out. Make sure you get everything out of your bowl. And then, you just wanna slowly get this into a ball. And I don't want to overwork it. Once you see it start sticking, get a little bit of flour down. And I don't really want to mix this flour into the actual dough. You can use a rolling pin if you wish. I'm not going to today. I'm just going to flatten it out with my hand. You want them rather thick. So that's good. Like that. I've got a little cookie cutter here. I'm going to dip it in flour and I'm going to start cutting my rounds. And then right onto my tray, back into the flour. I'll just move this so we can see. So 
So each time you want to cut a new one, dip your cu cookie cutter back into the flour. Gather up your little pieces. Now you can roll them out again if you're using a rolling pin, but I like to just get them all together because I don't like to overwork my dough. We'll do another round. And there we have it. And we got a little extra here, which I won't do. At this point, I have my oven set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We are ready to go. We just have to put a little egg wash on the top. So I've taken our egg and put it into a bowl. I'm going to add just a little bit of milk, just like that. And then we're just going to mix this up. And that milk just loosens the egg up a little bit. And then just apply the egg wash to the top of each one of your biscuits. And our last one. And now I'm going to bake these for 12 to 14 minutes in my 425 degree oven. So off to the oven, I'll be back with the final product. Alright, these just came out of the oven. Oh, they smell amazing. So, 12 minutes exactly in my 425 degree oven. And look at these, oh, they look amazing. Really, really nice. So the only thing left to do is to let these cool down and then we'll break into one a little later on. I guess the only thing left to do is to show you what the inside looks like. I'll just show you. Look at how nicely this comes apart. Oh. Can you see the layers? Oh, so nice. Let's get it loaded up with some butter. You can have this with a nice fried chicken, gravy. Really, really nice. You can see how flaky. This is just a beautiful biscuit recipe. Mmm. Very, very good. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. I can't tell you how good these biscuits are. Really, really nice. All butter. Really amazing. I hope you try this recipe out. It's a really fun one to do. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Subscribe if you wish. I do appreciate that as well. So that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Oh man. That was good. Mm-mm.